guys, it's Sarah. Oh wait, didn't I do that little hair flip the last video? I have to think of something different. Hey guys, it's Sarah. I'm not doing that. Hey guys, it's Sarah, and don't I look professional today? So if you were wondering, and I know you were wondering, my fanfiction cartoon thingy is coming out in a couple days. I'm still working on it. But if you really wanted to know, I'm using these guys. See, Harry, Niall, Liam, Zayn. Louie. Well, these guys are gonna be in my video. And oh my god, you don't even know what's going to happen. <laughs> Boom, babies. So Louie and Harry are gonna go right there for this video. Now, no making out in my video. I know you guys can't resist, but... Okay, now here's Louie's news. The always in my heart tweet, the iconic tweet that Lou Tomlinson sent Harry Styles has reached 1.7 million retweets and it's almost to 2 million. Guys, we have to get it to 2 million, make as many accounts as you can. Basically, Ellen DeGeneres' tweet is, I think, first placed in the most retweeted tweet in history. Louis' tweet is second and Obama's re-election tweet is third. I just can't believe that this fandom is so powerful that we beat Obama's re-election tweet. Harry's being outed more in the media. There was a post yesterday saying, things are improving. Today on some show, someone asked about Kendall and Harry and one of them said isn't Harry gay I'm pretty sure I read about him having a boyfriend online or something then they mentioned how Ellen was also there this is an improvement it's introducing the idea to people that Harry likes guys it's happening slow and gradual this would have never aired by mistake people in the industry know what to say and not to say it's a good thing they are pointing different things out and the person's right this actually is a big step forward because no boy band in the actual history has actually like almost outed themselves while their band was still alive like usually boy bands in the past like they didn't come out or give clues that they were gay until their band was over and this stuff wouldn't have even happened like two three years ago so the fact that people are starting to see now is a huge step not only has there been talk about Harry being gay in the media there's also been talk about Harry going so like a lot. There was a Snapchat saying that Jay-Z is going to be taking Harry under his wing and I really hope Harry doesn't do this because I feel like he'd be pulling a Zane. Harry does do a lot of solo projects. He writes for other artists and that's perfectly fine because I'm pretty sure the boys do that too. I think Harry is smart enough to make his own choices and he's very level-headed. I doubt Harry would just leave the boys when they already lost one member. I mean personally I can't see Harry going off with Jay-Z. And of course there's more Louis and Danielle drama. There was a picture that surfaced yesterday of Louis and Danielle kissing, I think at the ski resort. It's a very low quality picture. I don't know how many Wellington photos we're gonna get. This is probably like Wellington 10.0. I think the girl who took the Wellington video came back to the ski resort and she's actually just taking pictures of Louis and Danielle. I mean, come on, it has to be the same girl with the same phone. Girl, if you're watching this, I will literally give you my iPhone 6 Plus just so you can take some authentic photos. But guys, I have a question and here's what you guys have to think too. How come during this break, how come Louie and Harry are the only ones with these massive public relationships but Niall and Liam are invisible, they don't have these public relationships and they're just actually having a break? When are Louie and Harry going to have their break? This is not a break. It's funny, this person said, oh my god, Louie and Danielle kissed. I can't believe that Louie, a 24 year old that mirrors Harry, looks at Harry with heart eyes, dresses and takes photos of rainbow bears with Harry, has matching tattoos with Harry, writes songs about Harry, thinks about Harry, cares about Harry, went skiing first with Harry, originally went first on a yacht with Harry, and just wow, oh my god, Lunell is so real, what's new? And I was so glad to see that post the other day because it's true, like we're all freaking out about this awkward Lunell, whatever their ship name is, kiss, when we have to remember that Louie and Harry have done all this stuff first. And plus, this is what the kiss looked like to me. Okay, if you guys know, like, Connor Franta, Joey Graceffa, Troy Sivan, by the way, they're gay, it looks like I asked those guys to go and kiss a girl, and it looked like that they were, like, forced to do it. That's what the kiss looked like. It looked like a guy who is not out yet was forced to kiss a girl and he had to act like he liked it. But when Louis was at the ski resort, he was wearing this gray beanie and people were pointing out that it looked like the same beanie that Harry was wearing during the X Factor on 2010. Now, I know we always say like the things Louis and Harry wear look the same. It could just be a hat that looks similar, but it just looks very similar. I mean, I doubt a millionaire celebrity would keep a hat that they had in 2010, but you never know. But for now, this is all just speculation. And 
And oh my gosh, the Tomlinson family. Let's just discuss them and their social media habits. Okay, so Fizzy, Felicity, Louis Tomlinson's sister, liked this photo earlier on Instagram, like yesterday or something. It's basically like a post about this girl talking about like how her brother came out and how like they supported him. And remember that twit cam a long time ago when Felicity was like, oh my gosh, if you guys keep calling Louis gay, I'm gonna turn off the twit cam. Well, I'm glad Felicity has grown up a bit. And also on that same day, Jay followed an account that was saying that the pregnancy, like Louis and Brianna's pregnancy, was fake. And she also retweeted a tweet from that same account that was talking about the whole rainbow bondage bear thing. Actually, I think it was the rainbow direction thing, yeah. And it's just my opinion, but if Jay didn't want to hear anything about the whole, like, Louis and Brianna thing being fake or, like, rainbow direction, if she didn't want to hear any of that, she wouldn't have followed the account. So she must have agreed with it. And it gets better. She also followed a Larry account. I mean, it's just common sense. If you like something, you're going to follow a person who tweets about these things. If Jay wasn't a fan of Larry, she wouldn't have followed the Larry account. There's a behind the scenes video on Instagram of One Direction recording their Infinity music video. I don't know when this is gonna come out, but basically in the video, like they had like the music playing, they were like lip syncing. It was from like a bird's eye view. So we didn't really get a close up, but it's basically them just like kind of like dancing around. It kind of looked like their other music videos. I just hope that this music video is different than their other ones. But if you want to see that, I can put a link in the description. There's this girl named Ellie and she has an amazing update blog that I've been kind of following and yes she said I could use her name in a video but you guys should totally follow her I'll leave her link in the description but I saw something on her blog that I'd like to read because it sounded very interesting it's been speculated that possibly the photos RBB post correlate to when winter girlfriend drama happens one source says it could be all coincidence but maybe every time these overalls appear within a week we seem to get stunting going on. Maybe it is indicative of winter work coming up or a changing of the guard, so to speak. I think that RBB is here to communicate first and foremost, as well as help spread positivity. But one of the ways to help spread positivity is to warn us of upcoming stunts. Perhaps this is one way they have of warning us. Let's see if the pattern continues. So basically she explained that very well because I'm not really good at analyzing stuff the rainbow bondage bears do. But it's so true because the rainbow bondage bears are actually here to communicate to us in very subtle ways. And Louie and Harry are really smart. You guys are smart. RBB has not been active on their Twitter, but they've been active on their Tumblr. They said, you know you can't hold me forever. I did not sign up for you. Now that could mean anything, but whoa, that's deep. They also changed their profile to say goodbye yellow brick road and it has a picture of Elton John like going into the photo and he's wearing like heels like the red slippers like all their photos have to do with LGBTQ stuff. And oh my gosh okay I've never talked about Justin Bieber in any of my videos because I'm not really a fan of him because he threw shade at One Direction. Now I'm not going to be all defensive because it's Justin Bieber but Justin said I think people understand and know I was found on YouTube for my talent and not put together on X Factor or something like that. He explained in an interview on The Burt Show, which was taped December 7th and aired January 6th. But the 21-year-old quickly realized how that sounded and immediately added, that's not a shot or anything. Mm-hmm. He was basically saying that artists found on these singing TV shows don't have a shot unless they were found on YouTube like him. I mean, okay, maybe he didn't mean to make it sound defensive. I don't really know, but I mean, but to be honest, I don't think we should care because we all know One Direction don't give a fuck. Let's just say that they're both very successful artists. But when Harry was looking fine yesterday, he was looking at his phone, wearing his shades. I think they're actually on his head. But yeah, just casually walking down the street, he was probably texting Louis. And lastly, on to Zayn topics. There's a positive and a negative side to this. So if you're a Zayn fan or not a Zayn fan, I'm pretty sure you could relate to both things. But basically, there was a new Billboard article about him saying, I'm not going to censor myself anymore. Like basically, he disses the boys of One Direction and like disses their music and says it sounds generic. And in my opinion, he's kind of acting how Justin Bieber used to act, which is a royal raging douchebag. But even though he did say that, Zayn did say something else that really caught my attention. He said, the fans want to hear what's real, so why don't we write what we're actually going through? And that hit me so hard, almost like Louis Tomlinson just slapped his Gucci bag in my face. Zayn basically did call us fans intelligent, and he knows we want to hear what's real. And the fact that when he was in One Direction, he said he wanted to write about what they were actually going through, you know, write about the truth it made me really think about Larry like you know why don't they just tell us the truth why don't they just write about the truth write about what's actually going on behind the scenes with this band you know with Larry Stylinson so maybe Zayn wasn't really talking about Larry but I heard some Larry things in that sentence so tell me your opinions about all this stuff down in the comments and like always I post a video whenever I want so like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later bye